Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been a slow month. I've been running around so much. I just have not had a chance to sit down and edit anything. So thank you for your patience. I do appreciate it. Thank you for supporting and sticking around. Well, I'm out on the James River right now and I'm practicing for a BFL on Saturday. So I've been out since seven, it's 10 now been running around a little bit and I've actually caught some fish which I'm very happy about because I actually do not have a ton of experience out here so I've only lived in Richmond for a little over a year and a lot of my fishing is done out on Chickahominy Lake and it's separate from the river it's not tidal and that makes just a world of difference the James River is also massive Huge. There's so much water out here and it's kind of sketchy too so I'm still learning my way in and out of creeks and just how to navigate. So a couple things that I've been thinking about, one being in a lot of these tournaments on the James that launch out of Osborne, a lot of the field runs down to fish the Chickahominy River. So I launched at the mouth of Chick today and I'm really just checking out the middle section of the river. So just north of Chickahominy and south of Appomattox. I don't have a lot of, I really have no experience out here. I think I've fished in this general area four times, maybe three actually. So trying to find some spots that are not necessarily in the Chick but near it. So if it's just super, super crowded, I'll have some stuff outside of it. Also, Cannot forget to give Anglers Choice a huge shout out and thank you. It's been awesome working with them. I just got back from Smith Mountain Lake and I was out there with a couple other guys on the team and we were doing some photos. I was taking the photos. I wasn't the photo shoot, I was the photographer. But it was a really good time. Got some awesome shots. And we can't forget that this is their boat. So don't forget to click the links down in the description below. Go check out Angler's Choice. They are opening the website soon. I cannot wait for that website to launch. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. And now let's get fishing. First fish of the day. Number two. Oh, we came on pin. Thank you. Oh, chill. Another little keeper there. Too bad. I'd be working on a very small limit right now, but I really don't know this river all that well. So I'm just stoked to be catching fish.
This is getting fun. I should probably put my chesty on. Another little keeper fish. It's at number four. I guess I've caught five. Oh wow, that really chewed up a lot. Good one on the square bill. Any stuff? Yeah, come on. No. He dug me into something. That would have been my limit fish, technically, for today. And that was on a little chick magnet. Shout out to Fletcher the Fisherman. If you guys are not following Fletcher, I'm gonna leave a link for his YouTube channel down below. He gave me this a couple months ago when we met up and fished. Him, Fisher Dan, and myself. We were out on somewhere, some lake here in Virginia. But, man, that fish surged so hard. I thought it was going to be like six or seven pounds. I think he was like three or four, but still. Feeling good. We're getting bit. You guys know I don't crank very much. Well, okay, now that you guys are all caught up, we're going to make a quick move. All right, well, I was heading down to a creek off the James. And I noticed this dock, which has, well, first of all, this duck blind, and then there's a dock, maybe, I don't know, 50 yards down with a ton of old pilings. We have an incoming tide now. It was just low. And I caught a few off of the last dock that I fished and the old pilings. So I figured I'd pull over here and check these real quick. Catfish. Yep. I could tell the second I hooked it. <laughs> Immediate spins. Oh my god, there's a fish on here. <laughs> I was stuck and he ate it off the piling. <laughs> That's awesome. That was the most awkward thing ever. I was like, hold on, why is my line moving? It's the biggest one of the day. Sweet. Right where it was supposed to be. Awesome. That was so goofy. Glad I pulled over. I'm gonna switch worms up just to see if they'll eat this one too. First fish of the day I did catch on a robo worm and then I switched it up to the zoom curly tail, or actually I guess it is a cut tail, ribbed worm. That's what I caught the last three fish on. So I've got four drop shot fish and one Texas rig fish. So anytime I'm fishing pilings or a dock or duck blind, whatever it is, Depending on which way the current's going, I'm gonna get on the back side of it, cast up to it, and then fish it back to the boat. The fish are gonna position themselves into the current, so their nose facing into it. So basically I'm just trying to cast past them and bring the bait to them, or let the current do it, either way. 
or get it stuck on one of the pilings and have a fish come eat it off for you. This is kind of a dangerous game with this light setup. I'm fishing 15 pound braid to a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Fishing a seven foot medium light. Been getting lucky so far. Look, crabs. <laughs> Seen a bunch of crabs today. Need that savage gear crab lure. Oh wow, that is a big boat. Pretty cool things you see out here on the river. Jig fish. Sweet. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I mean, granted I'm not catching giants or really even close to that, but getting bit. Fishing wood on the main river. We need a little bit of flow. I've cut fish on drop shot, jig, Texas rig, and I missed the big one on the square bill. Oh! Catfish. <laughs> Dang it. Fishing some main river trees right now. Relax. Yeah, it's angry fish. Sweet. Just came out of that creek to the mouth, and as I was idling my way back there, I saw a ton of wood on this bank. I mean, an unreal amount of trees just laid out. So I wanted to stop and fish through it. The fish wasn't particularly deep or anything, but definitely in the wood. I was pulling this Texas rig through some branches, and then I felt them pop it. Look at that fig bird. This little Texas rig bait I'm throwing around is one that you guys might have seen me throw like in some previous tournaments. It's a Z-Hog Junior. This is a black sapphire, but up on the Chick Lake, I started flipping these really small baits. I mean, this thing is tiny. So, a lot of the bait that I've been seeing and a lot of these little small crabs that I saw when I launched are small, like this. They're not very big. So I decided to give it a shot and it seems that they're eating it pretty good. Something about this little bait. I had to find a really strong one-aught EWG. And the only thing that I could find was by Vector Hooks. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. I've heard of them before, but I never used them. But it seems to be holding up pretty well. Fishing it on my normal flipping setup. It's a 7.6, heavy, medium, heavy, 20 pound fluoro, half ounce weight. But the bait is just so small. I think that's the seventh fish I've caught today. Okay, days coming to an end here. I feel like I figured out a little bit on the James River, and I'm probably not gonna fish the chick, but I'm up in the chick anyway. So unless something happens, that's the plan. All right, you guys, well, I realized that I did not wrap this video up till right now. So I actually pre-fished for two days. My plan for going into the tournament was to fish the hard cover on the James, so any of the pilings, docks, and anything else I could find during that falling tide and low tide period that we'd be fishing throughout the day. Fishing a drop shot, Texas rig, square bill, just trying my best to find whatever I could, kind of avoiding the chick, which 
may or may not have worked out in my favor. I'm hoping to find a limit and maybe run into some big fish. I was feeling pretty confident going into the tournament after the two days of pre-fishing. And if you guys want to check out the tournament video, you can click right down here in that corner and check it out over on Angler's Choice's YouTube channel. That video should be live right now. You can go check that out or click the link down in the description below. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button on Angler's Choice's YouTube channel for me. They've been a very obvious, huge support of me and I want to help them out in return. So that's where I'm going to leave this one off. Don't forget to go check out that tournament video over on their channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one.